Yeah, I think it's kind of interesting, almost to connect with different ways of behaving and treating them as an invitation, a kind of gracious invitation. Mm. Because what we could say, everything the child does, if we look at it as an invitation, then we connect with it in a different way. And this notion that what the child does, especially when they're being emotional, is expressing their kind of morality. And I mean that not in the sense you were talking at the beginning, but some kind of morality. Mm. And once you treat what they're doing as an invitation, you honour the morality. We had a, an example of a child, I think he was eight, who had got this diagnosis, ADHD, and he was misbehaving in class. And it got to a point where one day the teacher said something and he just blew up and started smashing the tables, the chairs, everything. So they had to restrain him. And then a colleague of mine had an interview with him and said to him, why did you get so cross? And he said, because they treat me like a dog. So my colleague asked, what do you mean? He said, you should hear it. Sit, stand, come here, do this, do that. That's not treating me as a person. This was an eight-year-old. But just thinking, if you treat his behavior as an invitation and explore, what is it you're inviting us into? And asking those questions brought out He's inviting them into some real difficulties he had, some frustration that he can't sit still and work. So the invitation is, help me, but treat me as a person to do that. And so when they describe these things, the teachers and the parents in the conversation said, we never realized what he was inviting us into. And using that notion of invitation, just opens up so much.